Do you know how much energy Tony Stark's arc reactor can generate? The first arc reactor was made by Tony Stark just to survive, to keep shrapnel away from his heart, but it could output 3 billion joules of power, that's like the power of a medium-sized nuclear plant, or the power of 15 fully loaded Boeing 747s, but it only lasted 15 minutes. After that, Tony Stark upgraded to a second-gen arc reactor, it output 10 billion joules per second, enough to power a city the size of Chicago, but using it too long would poison him with palladium, eventually killing him. In Iron Man, and two, Tony studied his dad's old notes, used a particle accelerator to create a new element, which became the core of his third-gen arc reactor. This one was non-toxic, way more powerful, outputting 8 gigajoules per second, enough to power 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. In the Avengers, Tony used this reactor to power Stark Tower, keeping it running for a whole year. The fourth-gen arc reactor appeared in Iron Man 3. Tony used its crazy energy to create laser weapons and tons of mini arc reactors to power various Iron Man suits. By the end of the movie, Tony removed the arc reactor from his chest and threw it in the ocean. He didn't need it to survive anymore.